I'm trying to hold this camera so I don't get snowflakes on it. I took some footage this morning with this camera attached to a ball cap. This way I can get like a POV view of me plowing the lot. So listen, it's like 10, 11 minutes long. It was an effort to try to see like how that camera will work. It, it looks like this. This is what it looked like while I was on me. And it's pretty distracting when you're trying to drive with it. So although I might sound like, I say I'm having fun, but it's a very like, it's kind of a drab little section to the video. Once I turned the camera off and I just fired up the music and I was driving this bad boy around plowing the snow, I was having a blast. Once you watch that, I'll give you a little, uh, a little description and video on how this V-plow setup works uh, when the other part of the video is over. All right, ladies and gents, got a little something different for you here today. We got a POV cam on. Uh, it's basically a uh, setup on a brim of a hat, thanks to the idea of Street Speed 717. Saw it on his channel. And we're gonna just do a little POV video of me plowing the lot here at Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston. I have the uh, V plow set up on this particular rig. So I got my controls here. We can power the, pow the plow up with our on off button here. Raise her up and uh, we're ready to go. Now this one obviously you can move the plow left and right. You can raise it up and down. You also can scoop, retract, and then the wings, like each left and right side, you can move independently. So if you wanted to, you can kind of, again, scoop it. You can retract, which would be the opposite. And then you can, I can't do this with my hands. You can individually move left and right each side to kind of move the snow where you need it. So we're gonna go out. We're just gonna do a little uh, play by play here and see if I can record this while I'm, uh, while I'm plowing. The camera is uh, right below my eye line. You do kind of uh, forget where it is, but it is sort of distracting. And we're gonna be uh, plowing your vehicles here. So we're gonna be very, very careful. So right now I have it on like the scoop feature because what it does, the snow's not that deep. We're only talking about an inch, inch and a half at the moment. It allows to, to basically move most of the snow without having a lot of it move off the left or right side of the plow. So it's a pretty clean, uh, clean sweep of each row. You can see on the camera there, uh, you just kind of back up, stay in your path, move a little bit over to the right and knock it out again. I really don't have any experience plowing other than here at the dealership. We used to have a guy who did it, uh, who used to do a mow in the body shop. And, uh, you know, watching him over the years, I kind of saw, you know, how he moved the snow around and where he put it. And just from that alone, um, you know, I'm kind of following what I remember him doing. And then it's sort of a learn as you go. I like driving. I really enjoy doing stuff like this. So for me to, to be able to help out and work doing something uh, fun with a vehicle. It's a win-win. There's a sewer plate up here on the left. It must have a little raised lip. And when you hit it sometimes, it really uh, it freaks you out because all of a sudden the plow will get like tripped up by it. Camera helps out a lot.
this is sort of the tedious part when you're trying to get close to things like these little yellow uh, posts here I want to get close enough where I take most of the snow away but the last thing you want to do is hit one of them so you got to make sure you keep an eye on those two little uh, two little guide marks which are actually they're kind of bent out a little wider than the plow so as long as you're safe uh, as long as the tip of that is, is in a safe spot, you should be fine. And then the other thing you gotta watch is when you're backing up and turning like that a little bit, you wanna make sure you don't clip it. You know, this is a pretty long truck. It's a crew cab uh, standard box, 2500 HD, Chevy Silverado. The other plow truck we have that Anthony uh, and, parts, and our parts department's operating, um, that's an eight foot bed. I mean, that's a beast of a truck to be plowing with, but, um, you know he's getting the job done with that one that's also just a regular straight blade different than this one which is the uh again that v-plow setup i think we're slated to get about five i mean they said like 10 inches of snow i don't know if we're going to get that much but we may Gonna make sure no one's coming back into the highway here. This is nauseating watching with all the movement of my head. Looking around between cameras and mirrors and trying to make sure I don't hit anything. This will be an interesting uh, experiment to see how this actually turns out on video. Road looks clear. Watch that curb on my left. All right, so I'm gonna do one more scoop. We're gonna take this last bunch up to the end and then anything else, we're gonna push it over towards the left because generally, like you see here, people park on the right to try to clear out as much of this as we can. what you do without a camera. The backup camera helps tremendously. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna lift this up. We're gonna kick out the one wing on the left. We're gonna go down. So it pushes the snow that way. 
and then we're also going to turn the whole blade a little bit that way and we're going to come from this side and just push everything towards this wall try to get nice and tight into it being very careful not to hit the big pole here Now when I back up here, you'll see that that should have pushed the snow very nicely all the way to the left to clear a nice path. If you're a plow truck driver or you do this, what do you think? Is this a quality job? Am I thinking of this the correct way? I can tell you I'm having fun. And that's what it's all about. It is a little tough to see with this hat on though. I might try to actually put the camera on a suction cup on the window instead and see how that works. So I'll be right back. So here's a better look at the control. Again, you have an on off button here to power it on. You'll see you can go up, down, left, right. That's the whole blade. You have scoop, retract, and then the left and right wings. So I'm gonna try to reach this around so I can show you sort of how it works. So first I'm just gonna hit up. So you take the plow up and you can see it sort of has a little scoop to it. You can bring it all the way in like that and kind of really just push that snow Again, when you do it this way, a lot of the snow doesn't you know, escape from the left or right side of the plow. It kind of stays put. You can also go completely down. Like if you want to make one path going through a driveway or something like that, we'll bring it back up. Again, you can move the whole plow left and right. And then you can move each, uh, each side, as you can see, to kind of get it to do all sorts of different things depending on what you, know, what you need it to specifically do. It's pretty cool pretty intuitive it's very easy to operate while you're driving let me hop back in here you got your left hand on the wheel and you're operating the wheel with that and then you got your right hand in your grip here and as you're you're moving that plow and as you're going you're just up down left right it becomes very intuitive and very easy to do without even looking at it of course and you can just move the snow around and figure out exactly what you want to do. So, you know, again, I love doing stuff like this. I volunteered for this gig and uh, I'm happy to, to, to do it and help out. So now I'm going to put some tunes on. I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to have some fun in this truck and get this lot completely done. Our snow should stop in about an hour and then uh, we'll do a final cleanup and then it's supposed to get warm, I think over 40, so it should melt quick. If you're in the uh, New England, North Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York area, be safe out there, uh, get home safe if you're on the roads, and I will see you guys in another video shortly.